Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Katie here. Thanks for coming in. Today is going to be kind of a weird one that I haven't done before, but it's one that you can find all over YouTube and it's basically, there's different versions of it. This is like samples that I've gone through, that I've gotten through like Ipsy, Birchbox, Sephora Play or at Sephora or some other ways, but mostly these are samples that I've gotten and most of them are empty. Some are not. Some have been repurchased because I loved them so much the first time through. We're just gonna like dive in. The first one I'm gonna start off with is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I've had two of these so far and they're relatively small when you get them. Completely empty. It felt great. My face loved it. The only thing that really holds me back from buying another one of these is like the travel size is $18 for this, which in comparison to this one of the other lotions I have later, isn't sound that bad. That's the travel size. The full size is $50. So that's a lot of money to spend on a facial lotion. So the next one that we have going for us is going to be the Laura Mercier Eye Base Primer in Wheat. I got this from Sephora Play and it was good. It's great. It's not like the best eye primer and I probably wouldn't race out and spend $28 on it when you can get other ones just as good at the drugstore or other places. I don't know. Probably other people love and it's probably a really amazing product for other people. But like we're going to say with a lot of things with makeup or in the beauty community, different skin types work with different skin types and different things that just work differently on different people but that was just really that was just poetic right there this is the Josie Marin whipped argon argon oil face butter I don't know what is in this but like after I'd wash my face and go to apply moisturizer it would burn like my face was not okay and it says to apply to your face day and night after cleansing my face felt like it was on fire. This is $42 at Sephora. So clearly I got that at the Sephora Play. So, I'm just going to move on to the next one because I have a lot of things. So, this is not the first, like my one that I got in the Sephora Play box. Or Ipsy. I mean, I know I've gotten it multiple times, but it's the Pore Professional by Benefit Pore Primer. And this is awesome and it's great. And I have another one, small one, upstairs that's not open that I have packed in my makeup to take with me on a trip. But if we're going to talk about the other primer, then I have a Smashbox primer that's super liquidy because it is the Photo Finished Primerizer primer. It has moisturizer and holler... <sighs> well, I could never say this when I need to. Hyaluronic acid. There we go. Hyaluronic acid. Something else. This is with an N. This at Sephora is $42. Eh. It's an okay primer. I don't feel like it did anything, I guess. I don't know. So I guess that makes it not an okay primer. I didn't realize it was supposed to be moisturizing. I don't feel like it was. But other people probably love this. It just wasn't working for me. So we're just going to go next. Alright, so I guess apparently my table decided for me. The next one up was the Clinique Prep Start. And this is for like eye cream and stuff. Uh, and stuff. My face? Yeah. Normally likes Clinique. So that's just a really weird way to put it. I know that my skin really normally gets along with Clinique. It felt nice, but I wouldn't just consider it an eye cream. I could put it all over my face. But it didn't take when I first got it, I remember like throwing a fit when I got it. It was only like this full. It wasn't even that full, and when you held it up to the light, you could see that it was only partially filled, which they had sent you. 0.1 fluid ounce. That 0.1 fluid ounce, because it's an eye cream and you're not supposed to like saturate your skin with it, actually lasted pretty well. But it felt really nice under my skin and it didn't burn. So it's a win-win. Two different Origin masks that I've totally killed. This is Origin's Clear Improvement with the Active Charcoal. And this is the second time I received it in either Sephora Play, Ipsy, Birchbox, I don't remember what. But I've had it twice or three times. Love it. It's great. It's just a charcoal mask though, so it's fine. This one is the original skin, 
retexturizing mask and this one's just as good also if you like masks that dry down on your skin they both feel great they feel nice after you wash them off your skin's like ah you're super smooth it's great perfect Woo, that works for me I know I'm talking fast but that's also because I want to be able to get through all of these and not have this video be ungodly long so that's what we're gonna work with have you guys tried bubbly sparkling water if you like sparkly water let me know down below they had blackberry flavored one and it's actually really yummy so that's good let's do more face mask while I'm at it right so this is the first one one of the first ones I got from Ipsy it was sand and sky brilliant skin detoxifying brightening purifying pink clay mask so these are both expensive face masks more so than the origins do I think they work as well as the origins they're fine they're clay mask but do I see a reason to spend the sets that I found were for $49 and then $77 and 90 cents think that they're really worth it that much these ones were nice like they're nice though if you get them in ipsy bag but I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy those so one of my first things I got in Sephora play was this Moroccan oil Moroccan treatment it's hair oil you just need a little bit like at least with my hair because it's not super long because if you put way too much in then it's gonna look greasy and oily but this works really well combing away flyaways all right so this is honestly really good and really nice yeah it has a smell not bad so some point last year I don't remember when I went to Savora bought a whole bunch of stuff and I got a giant bag of sample stuff like skincare sample stuff didn't know what was going on was great though but I got a sample of Sol de Janeiro this is obviously the travel size one that I went back and bought immediately because Tati always talked about it everybody always talked about it I mean like it's obviously the thing that everybody talks about one of the lotions yes it's stupid expensive but oh my god it smells great which you know if I could buy this why can't I buy the Kiehl's ultra face cream that feels great I don't know probably because after I bought this this lasted me almost a whole year so just wait till it's Christmas and buy the value size because that makes so much more sense okay. one mascara that I repetitively got in the ba uh, <laughs> bags and like this four play bags or the ipsy bags or even in birch box was the bad gal Woo! is the bad gal bang mascara this is obviously the full size one three samples really quickly after this one came out it's a decent m mascara the wand's nice it builds up pretty decently I have a skincare line which I know people have talked about before numerous times and I just don't ever remember how they pronounced it it's very it's, it's very French it's didn't mean to say very French it's a French name and it's like Claude Claudier Claude 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 I have a few of the things right here obviously this one is only been partially used and I've only used a little bit of it and I have the other one packed ready to go on my trip with me in March because I want to make sure that I have this with me because so far since I've used it my skin feels great it feels nice and moisturized and lovely and this one is the Vio perfect or Vino perfect so like wine I guess for all skin types it's a radiant serum now the only terrifying part is when I finally looked up the full price of this one which is $79 like the full size one so then the other two things that I do have from them that are used up mostly this one I can probably use a little bit more this one's the Vino source moisturizing sorbet this felt amazing on my skin it was soft and silky I love the way it felt it felt calming after you know you scrubbed your face or you put toner on it which I don't do often but every so often I'm like just put a little bit of toner on and this felt amazing this one the full size is $39 so is there a chance that I'll buy this again yes which makes me wonder why I won't buy the Kiehl's Ultra Face one. The Kiehl's also shows up from time to time on Halt Look, so you can always look it up there. My last one, so this is the Venusaur Serum SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. 
And it feels really good on your skin when you just need to do a moisturizer and you're like, I am dying. I got this in obviously Sephora Play. I used this all last winter when my skin was doing its, oh my god, it's dry, I'm going to die feeling. And this one is $49 for its full size. It makes me question whether I'm going to use it again or not. I don't know yet, but hey. So, alright, so everybody that I know mostly loves it cosmetics and a lot of people love the bye bye pores press powder I'm guessing I don't know let's look at and see how many stars that actually has hold on all right so this has four stars so there are some people who agree with me and don't like it I don't know if you guys can hear it or not but today when I was like opening it up going all right we're gonna talk about you today it's been safe forever and then today of all days when I decided to finally film this video it decides to crack and break that is the majority of the relationship I've had with this it was super like dusty and fluffy and I didn't think my skin looked great on with it on but my skin looked actually a lot older it's $29 and that's $29 that I will never never use to buy this so if you love it that's great for you not for me the one that I did like that I got also in Sephora play is Sephora's actual own brand it is their matte powder foundation this one's in natural linen, which is of right now. They are out of. This has been put through the ringer a lot more than this has. And this has lasted and held up really well. But you would think with the packaging that it might have worked. I don't know. This one just seems a lot more cushioner. Cushioner? This is the Sephora brand. I love to use it as like an all over or to set my under eye sometimes, even if it's not translucent. But it was nice and it looks nice on my skin, which is what all you can seriously ask for. And this is $20 and compared to $29. So this is great for being free, but otherwise I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna just stick with my Maybelline Fit Me. And I think we're up to the last, but certainly not least as I'm like looking through my notes to make sure, like literally looking through my notes, checking off the ones I've talked about. All right, so the last one. This one is repurchased. I got it for my birthday from Sephora's like birthday present and it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay and Party which is a really soft color so it looks really natural. That one I burned through. This one I bought on Ipsy so yay! Go me! Alright guys well that is it. That was a super long long video and if you liked it let me know what are some of the items that you liked. Let me know and I will see you guys soon. Bye!